This video explains how to remove rows of a pandas data frame conditionally in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our example data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now, let's assume that we want to remove certain rows of this data frame conditionally. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. Then I use square brackets to subset our data frame. And within the square brackets, I specify a logical condition. So in this case, I specify that I want to keep only those rows where the column x3 is unequal to the value 5. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object that I call data1. And I print this new data frame below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that a new data frame has been created, which contains only three rows. And you can also see that all values in the column x3, which have been equal to five, have been removed. It is also possible to use the drop function to remove values from a data frame, as you can see in the next example. So in this case, I use the drop function to create a logical condition within the drop function. So in this case, I specify that I want to drop all rows where the column x3 is equal to 5. So this is the opposite logic compared to the first example. So in the first example, we have kept all rows which are unequal to 5. And in this example, I'm removing all rows which are equal to 5. And as you can see after running these lines of code, the result is exactly the same. However, this time we have used the drop function. It is also possible to specify multiple logical conditions to remove rows of a data frame. So in this case, in the next example, I specify two logical conditions within square brackets. And my first logical condition says that I want to keep only rows where the column x3 is unequal to the value 5. And these rows should also be greater than the value 2 in the column x1. And as in the previous examples, I'm creating a new data frame for this subset, which is called data3. And I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So after running these lines of code, another data frame is appearing. And this data frame contains only two rows. And both of these rows have a value unequal to 5 in the column x3 and are greater than the value 2 in the column x1. It is also possible to remove data frame rows based on a list object which specifies which of the rows should be kept. And for this, we first need to create such a list object, as you can see in the next lines of code. So in this line of code, I'm creating a list which is called my list, and then I'm printing this list below the code box. And then you can see that our list contains the character strings yes and no. And in the next step, I want to keep only those rows where the list object contains the character string yes. And we can do that as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm using double square brackets. And then within the double square brackets, I specify that I want to keep only rows where my list object is equal to the character string yes. I'm also storing the output of this in a new data frame object that is called data4. And I'm printing this data frame object below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that our new data frame contains only four rows. And all of those rows correspond to the appearance of the character string yes in our list. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. 
I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.